Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a holiday discounted thrift haul. Oh. All of those things, yes. Two stops. Two. One fifty percent off. One forty percent off. Yes. And this is pre—it's Christmas Eve right now. Hi. Hi. Merry Christmas, everybody. Way after. Hope you had a great holiday <clears throat> season. Yep. Uh, mm. So we wanted to show you what we picked up at our, you know, how thrift stores right before Christmas be like last minute gifts right now. Get your stuff. It's all on sale. Come on. You know, I will say that both stores didn't have as much coming out new as normal. Honestly, That's true. That's true. Okay. Okay. That being said, all right, like we, we still have a full rack. Yeah, we got a full rack of stuff. We're going to show you everything. Uh, average cost of goods between the two stops. One was four four bucks. One was three fifty. So that's what we're working with. Three seventy five. Call it three seventy five. There you go. All right. I'm just gonna go. Ah, stress you out by moving the rag. All right. Is it too full again? No, nah, it's just full, not too full. Okay, is... East Coasters know what this is. What this? Dan does not, because Texas doesn't do Timbuktu. These are messenger bags made in the Northeast, and uh, this was the ish. If you didn't have a Timbuktu bag, who even were you in 2005? <laughs> like, who even were you? Uh, these are very popular in states like um, Pennsylvania, Maryland, D.C., New York. Anyway, Sweet, man. they're meant to be on your over your shoulder when you're on your bike. Yeah. In the city. <laughs> you know, with the, anyway. I would have, you know, I did pay a lot of money when I was in college for one of these. It was like 80 bucks or something. Now, <clears throat> back in the day. Yes. I would have killed for that pink one. I kind of still want it. You think I should? <laughs> what are you gonna do with it no i need all black all the time for my job ah, ha, ha. Uh, this has been a theme lately unassuming johnny was and i'm pretty sure this is okay I'm, it doesn't say johnny was but every, when i looked this up every listing said johnny was this is for love and liberty johnny kind of was johnny kind of was johnny <laughs> maybe was johnny probably was probably was <laughs> But this is cool, right? Like a moto style, moto style knit jacket with some floral embroidery. This is in, it's ditzy embroidered, exposed up. Right? Yeah, it's knit. Oh, that's good. I think I did it. Good on that one. Mm, hope so. Okay, a couple pieces from this brand today. This is parsley and sage. Love this brand. Which is right, one of our favorites. Is this an art to wear brand? Yes. Can you just see the tag? Y'all, this brand is go. so well for us. You're not going to get rich off of it, but it will sell so fast. Yeah, the sell through is really good. It reminds me of Dustin Wall, but like for a more mature. But a little more tame. Well, oh, tame. That's a good way. Yeah. Because yeah. Dustin Wall is like in your face. Love. <laughs> this is the tiniest little pair of Lululemon shorts I ever did see. Yeah, these are like the run and glide or something. I don't know. They got, you know, the, they got underwears in them. Got the little logo. Our thrift has been slipping on the Lulu train, and we have been only yoink, 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 yoink. We don't pay full price for mm. Lulu mm. ever, not even half price full price, because right. they mark it up so high. So yeah. every Lulu that you see today was, was hidden. Yeah, it was missed. So it was marked at most like five ninety nine. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see how much we're able to find. Just knowing what it feels like with your little paws, you can find Lululemon. Your thrift store is going to miss it too. Yeah, they will. Mm -hmm. Especially the men's, men's stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, speaking of Miss Lululemon, here's another one, right? Yep. Yep, there's the thing. It's right here, especially when it's tone on tone like this. This is a knit zipper. Yeah, and it the has bag. the thumb holes. This is a cool shirt. Is that a boat neck? It is boaty. That's it's very, pretty boaty. Pretty boaty. We're going to go with boat, boat adjacent. Like, boat adjacent. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You. I had a little meltdown. Rightly, In a good right, way. Rightly so. This is two pairs of Nilly Lothan pants. It's a really good brand. I don't know if the style is the best style ever, but like, how did these stay at our thrift store? They stayed so long that they hand marked the price down to half of the original asking price, and then it was half and of that. And then they were still there on half off day. We what? paid $1.25 for each of these. I mean, this is a great lot right here. Yeah. This brand is incredible. Uh, both of these colors are trending. The low rise waist is back. These are just chino pants with a tuxedo stripe. I'm sure I can find the model name online. Yep. And they're both the same four. size. Yep. 
and we're gonna go out them together and we're gonna make some money off these yes look for this brand it's really really good yes okay <clears throat> something else we would always pick up every single time like these hot topic pants i'm gonna pick every time. single time yep these need to be some lint rolls. Yeah, a little bit. These, these are, I think these are newer because these just say HT denim. Yep. These are yep. not expensive pants. You can go to Hot Topic and get these for 60 bucks, 70 bucks. Yeah. But if someone loves these pants and they don't make them at Hot Topic anymore, then right. that's where the money comes in. You can get close to retail for some of this stuff. And there particularly are people who love those pants. Love. And um, particularly Trip NYC. That's also a Hot Topic mm -hmm. uh, brand that we pick up. Yep. And I don't think there's much delineation. It's the straps. It's the two colors. Can you guess? Open, Come on. Open knit, open cardigan. Eileen Fisher. At our thrift. Yes. It's this so is uh, probably linen, right? Feels like. Feels like. No tag. Yep. This but is yeah. an open knit. I would probably, you know, it's got like a little peplum action going on here. Mm -hmm. We've sold this sweater. A hundred times. So many times. Yeah. So I'll just look up the title of one that we got that was new with tags. I'm sure we have one, and I'll know exactly what it's called. That's why we love Vendu. That's right. I can go to my sold like that. Nice. Another brand we pick up almost every single piece from, Fresh Produce. I wish this was a brighter color. Yes. Their brighter colors do a little bit better, but this, this is, is cool. Still good. This is a really nice, like, a nice knit. Yep. Love picking up Fresh Produce to this very day. Love it. A very large collar. Yeah, shawl. Shawl collar. All right. Speaking of, here's the the, the Desi wall. It's loud. Okay. There's the back. Never not gonna get this. <laughs> right. This is what sweater dress. Yeah. I don't think you guys can see, but it's kind of like no, mermaid. Look how that is. Yeah. It's like a mermaid shimmer knit. Made that Oof, right up. There's the front. It's so cool. Lots going on, but the people that love this brand love this brand. Yeah. Very cool. And it sells really fast for us. Our sell-through rate in Desigual is incredible. Your mileage may vary. Free people? We the free? I got this because it was $1. One dollar, Bob. Which, well, it was one ninety nine, so it was one dollar. <clears throat> yep. And I left a lot of free people behind because they started marking it up. Mm -hmm. But they missed this We the Free. And I thought it was really nice. And it, it has tencel cool. in it and the lacing. I thought that was cool. <clears throat> yeah. So I was like, for one dollar, I'm gonna try that. I did not pick up other free people that was one dollar, yeah, because it was basic. Basic. And it costs us a lot of money to list things these yeah. days. Okay, this is a J Jill extra large petite. Um, love cow, cow neck. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect navy blue. Love That's it. The perfect bread and butter piece. If I ever <laughs> saw one. This is nice too. Nice. Uh, the green label, Lauren Ralph Lauren, but it's a hundred percent cashmere cable knit. And they missed it. They missed it. It's Normally, got the little, the little logo. With 100% cashmere, they'll mark it up to like 30 bucks. But not this one. It was $5.99, I remember. Very nice. So then we paid two, two, no, $3 for it. Yeah, two, two ninety nine. I love a cable knit. This like really classic style with the crew neck is back. Yeah. We're, we're over the oversized sweaters. We're really into this classic tailored situation right now so that should do great because okay. it's a classic color classic knit and a classic silhouette there you go tell and me i did good here. soft surroundings 2x jumpsuit maybe you did good but people have to you have to get so naked to go to the bathroom, to go to the bathroom? <laughs> I, that's not that's not you for gotta us go to, through the top it's not for us to worry oh about. honey <laughs> godspeed but you love a jumpsuit i do and so i think somebody's gonna look pockets, terrific in this waist Yes. If, if it weren't um, soft in a jersey knit, you could call it a boiler suit because mm -hmm. of the waist, the way that looks. And normally boiler suits have <clears throat> pockets like that, but not a jersey knit. Mm -mm. Okay. There is no way on earth I was not going to look this up. Okay. This is a Dragon Ball Z varsity jacket. No. Totes, man, from Box Lunch. Is it good? It's pretty good. Yeah. It, what even is Box Lunch's subscription? I, I maybe I'm mm. not even sure. But even like it doesn't matter. Even this thing, even if it wasn't like super great, I was gonna get this. Okay. Look at that. It's super embroidered. Nice. That right? is cool, yeah. I wish we had that listed for the holidays. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> I mean, you I got this for the same reason you got this. 
This is a gigantic. This is awesome. Like the quality. Of, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is a Whataburger. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's an employee like winter coat, but it's like super nice. It is so nice. <laughs> it's got a. It's got a detachable hood. Uh, it's got a lining, two zippers. I don't know if the lining comes out. I don't think it does. But, but it's like real nice. It's, it's like, like waterproof. Real nice. I, yeah. I and they only had it marked at five ninety nine, so it was three dollars. And I'm like, Dan, should we get this Waterburger? Done? All right. <laughs> if like, you're not absolutely. from Texas, Waterburger is like a fast food, a fast food hamburger chain, yeah. chain place. <laughs> uh, not un dissimilar from like. Yeah, and it's like uh, it's the reason why I think it's employee. It's like tagged <laughs> like that. So. <laughs> but there are people that have moved from Texas or wherever they have Waterburgers and they don't have it anymore, and somebody's they're like, somebody's gonna want that. Right? Yeah. People somebody's collect. gonna want that. It's similar to In and Out. That totally. same experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, East don't, Coast don't compare the like, food. Like people that you're gonna start. No, fight. no, no, no. But I mean, like the experience of people <laughs> really liking, um, you know, fandom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. East Coast people are like In and Out. What? Huh? Whataburger? What? Sorry, East Coast. Let me. Uh, <laughs> got nothing for you. steak and shake. People on the East Coast love a steak and shake. Okay. All right. They love it. They came here and it was like ah, uh, is that right? Like, but yeah. it's the East Coast thing. So. I get it. Yeah. All right, moving on. Or Ready? five guys. Five guys, yeah. Mm, on the East Coast, we love a five guys. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I'm trying to get in here. It's Bonobos. A, Bonobos, Slim Fit. A, I think this is a little guy. This is a 36 regular. Partially nice. lined. It's very nice. Yep. We find a lot of little guy Bonobos because... Uh, Actually, not really. This is the smallest I've ever found. Oh, this brand. But we find a lot of little guy stuff. <clears throat> We live in a college town where there are little baby man people <laughs> that need suits. Little baby man people. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're not quite full grown yet, yeah, that's funny. but they're living on their own in our neighborhood. Oh, this is nice. I know, Check I that love out. this. This is, uh, what does this say? Sioni Studio. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I did not look this up, but like, look at it. Yeah, right. And it has it's mohair. Big buttons on there. There's the tag. There's mohair in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So I had to get it. Yeah, this art to wear to. stuff just does really well for With us. These like saucer buttons. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Say that. Say I get this because I was this too lazy cool. to look it up, and it's not great. Say the sell through is not great. I sell it on style. I probably won't even include the brand if that's the case. Yeah. And you can still sell this stuff because that style for us sells really well. I sold that sweater in a hundred different brands. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes you don't have to look up every little last thing. Right. It's weird that you're talking about that because I mean I did look this up, but this is I I nor this is I normally wouldn't have bought this. This is from Chaps, but it's 100% silk. Mm -hmm. So that gave you a clue. Yeah. So I looked it up. Tooth. It's the silk houndstooth Chaps, and I looked it up in the sell through. They sell. So and it's a it's a 42 long. Cool. Uh, yeah. I mean it's like this wacky, multicolor. All right. This is from Suit Supply. It's like oh, a great. long sleeve, half button. What would you call this? Like a hand, not a hand leave. This okay. is a popover. Well, women call it popover. Men call it. Mm. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know. Extra slim fit, 16, 16 and a half. I would probably call it a polo. Yeah, like a long sleeve polo. Yeah. You want to use, even if it's, okay, here, here's the thing. Here's, let me just, can I get on a soapbox here's for a that. second? Get on a soapbox. Soap box. Box. Go for it. So many people in the reselling community get hung up on what the actual term for something is. Totally. I yes. don't care what the actual term is. And this is coming from me who has all the degrees in fashion. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know. And you can put it in your description. <laughs> but most people don't know the actual term for something. They know the colloquial term. And so that would be a long sleeve polo. You have to put something in your title so people can find it. That is a hot tip. I'm off the soapbox now, but you know what I mean? Totally. Some people, and I, I'm guilty. I would spend 30 minutes like diving in. Let me find the exact thing that this is. Yeah. But then no one's searching for the exact thing because it takes them 30 minutes to figure right, out. Right, because nobody <laughs> knows what that's actually called. Yeah. Don't do what I did. Don't do it. We're sa saving you the, the time. All right, you found these. You want to talk about these? Yeah. These are the most starched jeans I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't judge. I'm not judging. I'm just pointing out a fact. No, I'm telling the viewers not to judge. I could, like, st like the other pair, I could probably stand up. They're so, like... So, what you need to know about these. These are vintage, and these are going to do great. There are some vintage uh, groups I am in on Facebook that will 
Love these. These are uh, Rockies. I did look Rockies them up, tools. and I think we can get between 50 and 100, depending on the platform. Okay. Uh, the back of these is what you really need to see, and it's going to be hard because they're stiff as a board, y'all. I mean, really, like, <laughs> stiff as a board. I will wash these because nobody needs this much starch. <laughs> nobody. There's no even if I wash them, this crease ain't going away, so it'll be never. fine. It's never. never going away. Can we please show them the silhouette of these jeans, please? Um, like you want me to unclip them? Yeah. Oh, okay. The inseam is super long. You're gonna remember these from about 1978. <laughs> uh, early 80, but between 78 and like 83 is where I would put these. Oh man. Uh, they're very high waist, and the inseam is, like, for days, which is great, because people can get them hemmed, but you can't make things longer, right? Huh. Okay. Okay, now do you know what I'm saying? Do you see? <laughs> These are a Western style. Um, So Texas. Goodness. Wow. Have you guys ever watched Pure Country? Remember that movie? Okay, now let's see the, um, or any of those movies, really. They all are applicable. Okay, show the back. Yes. This. This is what we're paying the money for because your caboose goes here and it looks fabulous. This is the original wedgie. <laughs> I mean, really, though. Yeah. These are going to so. do great. If Melissa Osborne, if you're watching this, you would have bought these too. I know Miller you. International, Denver, Colorado. The Rockies. The Rockies. <laughs> anyway, I have two of them. They're similar styles. The One is a darker wash, wash. And the darker wash. Yes. And Amazing. these 100%, if they're the same size, will get lotted together. And uh, we're going to make some money on these, baby. Where'd that hanger go? Gotcha. Thank you. Stuff like that, even if I don't know how to sell it, now that we're to a place where we don't really have a death pile, I am willing to pick up. Yeah. If you have a death pile, don't do that. <laughs> don't pick up things that are not in your lane. Because that's going to take me longer to list those, research them, and sell them. Right. It's going to sit and take up space. And right. So I would be less likely to list them. But now we don't have a death pile, so I will list them. This is not going to sit and take up space. Yo, I've been finding dojos everywhere. More dojos. Yep. Every haul we bring you, I got dojos. There you go. And again, if you have missed our hauls in the past, you, you want to check the here. back of the legs. Not there. thrashed. There you go. And include pictures of that. People are going to ask. And probably the leg width at the bottom. The dojo came in a couple different. Oh, um, leg opening size. Leg, or whatever. leg opening. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I grabbed this because it was like super cheap and I thought it was kind of cool. It is really cool. It's from Umji. This is a boutique boho. But we sell it. We sell it a lot. Yeah. It's cute. Right? It's like a waffle knit. Kind of. Yeah, it's got very large slits on the side, so you'd wear these with tights or skinny jeans or something. Okay. Cute. 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 All right, more Hot Topic pants. Oh. Bam! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. If you ever need to direct traffic, this you go. is your pant. That's right. Those would be these great for Halloween. Just, it just says Hot Topic, not the HD or whatever. There go. Every time I would pick those up. Boom. Men's Lululemon polo shirt. Barely see the logo there. Um, I knew it immediately from the way the collar buttons down. It's got like these hidden hidden button downs. So I was like, I know that's Lulu immediately. Yep. See, and I was right. If you know what to look for, you <laughs> too can find it. It's it's about knowing. Yep. I would go, like, next time you're traveling, I'm speaking to people that don't live in a metro area. A lot of you guys don't, and I want to address that when I can. Mm -hmm. But when you travel hit up these stores of brands that your dream brand. So my dream brands to sell are like Aviator Nation and Spell and, and all of that, right? So go to those stores. When when I'm in LA, that's where I'm going to go. Yeah. When we were in New York, we went to the Eskandar store. We went to the, we we're feeling everything. Eileen Fisher store. And we feel it because we don't know what we need to know until we feel it. And then <laughs> when we go to our thrifts, you can find it very fast. Yeah. Check out, like he's saying, all the details on all the, go in Lululemon. They don't care. Yeah. Really, just another person. I don't know. Right. It's it's called a uh, professional development. It's called product research. Ah, yes. All right. These are uh, these are still doing okay. This is a cricket. Oh yeah. Polo with a Q. Yep. Cricket with a Q. Cricket with a Q. They always have the little C logo right there on the pocket, and like extra. It looks like four or five buttons. All right. Another polo shirt from 
Xenia. Ah, oh, nice. Very nice. It's oh, got wow. this, like, what do you call this at the bottom of the hem? Yeah. Um, yeah, the buttons are a little, is very Kendall. Yeah, a little thrash, but this will do all right. And the, the tag isn't tacked on, so we'll do that. That's easy. I can do that. It's easy. You can do it. I can. Uh, long sleeve mock neck uh, from Foot Joy. This will do our eight. Yeah. This, mark, this was not marked up, so I grabbed it. Great. The more substantial pieces from then and the, the cold weather pieces do better than like yeah. just the polos. I had to have this. This is Vince, but this is it's super gorgeous, cool. It's gorgeous, right? Yeah, it's it's velvet. It's velvet. It's silk on the. It's like I think it's a silk. I'm probably being uh, duped here. It feels like a silk velvet. It's not. I'm sure it's not. It can't be. It can't be. But the way this drapes and the way it feels, it's really nice. You got a tag in here, Vince? Where are you at? I don't see one. No. I'll look up and see if I can Google image this style. So if you go to your Google app and then you use your camera click on the camera icon and then type in when you go to scroll the results type in vince so it'll only give you results that have vince associated because yeah. if you just do a floral skirt google gets a little confused it'll, yeah it'll show you all kinds of stuff check this out this has got a lot going on i pick this up based on just pure like we sell this kind of stuff yeah look at this it's got this big gnarly crest on the gnarly pocket. you said gnarly it is gnarly yes. it's like it's got a B on there and it's got all these like trim and then it's got these branded buttons and then I started flowers on it. I started looking at it. So I gave it to Dan. I'm like, can you please look this up? And he's like, uh the tag looks kind of like cheap though. Yeah, and then the all the seams were like, look at this, like exposed. The stitching is terrible. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on here? This is probably cheap. And then he looked it up and it's not. It's not. It's um, what does this say? This is Arada Silent Journey. And it's anthropology. Yep. And like, this actual garment is going for a lot of money, and the seams in it are crazy. Show them this. I, I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. Look at that. It is like sloppy. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's on the inside, so no one's going to see it. It's still right. a nice garment. I just couldn't believe. Normally, that's an indication of poor quality. Yeah. Or Because you would finish those seams. You would do a roll or a um, sir. You would just finish them so they look nice. That was just like... All under the hood. All under the hood. Oh, this has got a hole in it. Ah, oh, which one was that? It's got it. Oh yeah. The big cowl neck thing. Yeah, I try to check it. And, uh, the blue tape is where we get into Stanland. Yep. <laughs> and holes. <clears throat> okay, this is yeah. The next couple of pieces are all going to have some sort of a tiny flaw, I guess. Looks like because April already steamed and marked them. Uh, standard Thanks, James April. purse. These little t-shirts do really well for us. They only sell for like 20 bucks, but they sell real quick. Yeah. People must have safe search. We don't really get much else in standard James purse. I keep finding uh, denim and supply. Yeah, it's it's a lot now. Yeah. So I grabbed it. Oh, she didn't mark that. Lord. Oh, hey, guy. What are you doing? Big mark on the back, back of this. There. Anyway. We'll just wash it. We'll wash it. Yeah. <laughs> This way. This way. This way. In the system here. You're gonna see how much flawed stuff we buy, and it's it's true. It happens. Happens to everybody. Uh this is yeah, Cyrus, and I'm sure it's got makeup on the collar. Uh shaving cream, yeah. Um, but this is super a nice knit, cowl neck, pink kangaroo pocket. Yeah. Sweet piece. I would call that color oatmeal. It's a trending color. This is another. Oh, this is Lululemon it that is was not marked. Another hidden Lulu. This has got the little metal tag uh, just tacked on the back. This is like some kind of. But I would just I would know to look this up or look at. Yeah, it. I mean it obviously oh. has some like something going on here. It needs to be washed. <laughs> so the first thing I do when something's like this and it has a lot of discoloration, I just put it in the wash. Yeah. And see like. What we're working with after that, you know, because there's so much to free sure. treat. Yeah. And sometimes it surface and you just don't know, and you put it in the wash and it comes out, and you're like, okay. I mean, you never know. Somebody may have been afraid to wash it. Right. Also. Or just happens. didn't wash their clothes in general. Right. Dallas. Yeah. Just buy new ones. Uh, Everlane. I Hold got these. Pants. Yeah. You know, I was 
kind of going back and forth whether to get these, but then I ended up getting them because they're like little paper bag waist. It is Everlane. I'm sure all, every Everlane, every Everlane that we can I really can you? every Everlane that we find always flawed, and I've told you, you know, yeah. why I think that is, but. I mean, it's kind of been true so far. So. <laughs> Everything people wear their clothes till they're run they're out of rope. Dunzo. Uh, this is wow. This is very very heavy. Cable knit Ralph Lauren black label. That is the second highest label of Ralph Lauren. Don't there get it twisted. Go. It's nice, right? This is very it's metallic. Nice. It is metallic. It's still got the buttons on the tag I too. Know. What is this made out of? This is super nice. It's I think silk. it's viscose. Is it silk? Yeah, it's viscose. The whole thing. The whole thing, 100%. So just because it's Ralph Lauren black label or purple label doesn't mean it's the highest and more most expensive fabric of all time. Right. It's it's normally about the design, the weave, how it's made. Like the weight of that is this incredible. Is, it's insane. It weighs so much. It doesn't feel like a Target sweater. Like there's, oh, no. You would know that was high end no matter what happened and the way that it falls on your body. Yeah. So there's a lot of Eileen Fisher that we sell in these super cool cuts and they're made of viscose or viscose is the word for rayon as well. Yeah polyester recycled polyester so it's not always about the fabric quality though that is an indicator sometimes it's the cut i had to what was i to do mm. it's chippendale i had to had to right i would have too it's the old school disney tag from yes. disney store i remember this from when i was a kid there's what it looks like right there it is not a single stitch shirt uh but it is it is vintage yeah all right, what do we got here? Yeah. Barefoot Dreams. This is like a giant scarf with two big pockets. I really got this because I thought maybe I would like put my snacks in it at the fire. <laughs> it's a Snack scarf, pockets. right? Snack, okay. and then your phone could go in here, or you could have peanuts in one and shells in the other. There you go. I mean, I was just thinking. All right, but there's I, the Barefoot Dreams. I can't stop picking it up, you guys. <laughs> I cannot. It'll it'll pass. I know, and I'm gonna keep. Because every time I'm like, well, if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it. Yeah, right? Totally. Uh, this is Eileen Fisher, size 2X. Oh, wow. And this has a flaw. It's deodorant. This is deodorant. Please be white. Please don't be a hole. <laughs> there is a spot there, everybody. <laughs> We're both like, where is it? Get it's yourself tiny. a young assistant. It's a tiny little grease spot. But yeah, this is nice. It's very nice. Yeah, I'll just spray it with my shout. Moving right along, more cable knit uh, editions by Chico's size three, full zip. That's nice, right? Something wrong with it, but yeah, I've got a couple of spots. Of, knit on the back. Spots of whatever on it. It's hundred percent cotton. You can wash this, no problem. I can. <laughs> Need All a right. whole week of just stain treating. New with tags, lovers and friends. Little What's pink wrong rubber. With this? I don't like this is I, I actually was like I peeled up the tape and I was like what is there there's nothing here like there was a little bit of schmutz and I, and I scratched it oh, and there's okay. like there's nothing there I can't see anything in the detail <laughs> there oh, you go I had the eyelash I had an eyelash all right you're getting moved to the non-stained area friend upgrade boom okay where was I right here I got this because it was super cheap uh, and it's like a substantial knit it's size three Chico's with two pockets in the front. Nice, I? Are you okay? There's a big something in my eye. Is it still there? Yeah, I'm trying to get out. Okay. I have a whole ritual. Okay. And then uh, on the on the way out, standing in line, this was hanging with the jackets, and I was like, "This looks kind of cool." And Holy Y two K. Yeah, but what, whatever. I looked it up. It has it's new with tags, and I, I looked it up. This triple five sole. And these are like, they were worth some decent money. All right, well, show them the label. I've never heard of that brand. I hadn't either. And then, like I said, I looked it up and can you read it? Kind of. Cool. So, yeah. All, all right. Over me. Good Lord. That was, <laughs> that was all stop one. Stop two is much less. But starts off with a good one. Well, Johnny was. This is like a poncho knit. It has some tassels on it. 
Johnny Wise has a million different brands, so you really need to become a little bit familiar with them or kind of like what the tag oh, cool. like tassels, yeah. looks like. Yeah. If this was black, I would have kept it on the side. 100% organic linen. This Very nice. This is the nice. Calm line. Um, yeah. Not all of them do as well as those big embroidered things that you're used to seeing, but it's still nice to find. This is... I love this. Ivy Jane. This is another boutique brand that we do really well with. Um, this is, I would call this a utility jacket cropped. It's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I love this billowing back here. So it's got some darts here. And so this gets billowy and this sits high on the waist. It's a really cool style. I think on the mannequin it's look, look great. Yeah. Okay, Lululemon. He said, okay. Oh, no, because like this is, is this a hole for your ponytail? Is that what this ah. is? so good yeah <laughs> so this is a like a this is a scuba hoodie yeah it's got this large like a cowl neck yep thing going on this was my size and then like i said it's got a it's got a ponytail hole i'm gonna figure out what this is called and then i'm gonna look for it in my size i love this <laughs> very cool again it missed missed said, okay okay uh, this is odd founded on feel majestic filatures. This brand is so good. It is so good. Looks very, very plain and unassuming. Very... And we just started buying it this yeah. year. Yeah. Not even like, like three months ago. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this sweatsuit. Yeah. This sweatsuit's way too big for me, but look how cozy, man. So good. Like the matching <laughs> pink pants. I just like look like the marshmallow man on the camera. It's <laughs> so big. <laughs> Forgive me. Look, yo, this is extra small. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm ready. Ready. I got a pair of cool pants. These are the cool Liberator convertible pants. These zip off right here. Oh, yeah, these into do well. shorts. Yeah, I looked these up and the sell through is really great and they and the price is good too. You have to look up all K U H L is the brand, and you have to look up all pants. Not all of them are created equal. KUHL Liberator Convertible. Stealth. Lots Stealth. of them are really good. <laughs> all right. We keep finding this too. So maybe this is one of those brands that had a moment and people are over it and that's why it's showing up. The Cyrus? Yeah, I don't know. This We're is still this trying a really it. nice knit. Uh, cow neck. Dark gray. Wait till you start seeing our wet folds and see Cyrus come up before you go purchasing everything. Right. We're still in the trial phase. Trial phase. I try to let you know that about brands when we're, because we do, we go through trial phases with brands all the time. All right. This was marked like $1.99. Is the, I had to get it. It's a Chico shirt, but. I didn't understand what was happening here. I was like, that's, that's it, insane. It's but a sparkle shirt and it's tequila sunrises. Those are actual <laughs> drinks, is. like cocktails. That's amazing. Yeah. Right. There, I had to. I and just, it even says it's like tequila sunrise. I wonder if they have like a margarita one. You can collect <laughs> all your favorite cocktails. Right? That's fun. Cute. I had to. I had to. That's cute. <laughs> okay. This is a J. Jill Pontinet. Love. Just a kind of tunic. Tunic plaid. There you go. It's good work wear. Career wear. Oh, these are cool. I know. I loved. I got them for style. Zara, the marine straight pants. I don't buy Zara ever unless I would wear it. And unless I would wear it's these. for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I might try them on. But okay. I really think this style is good. Very right now. cool. Yeah. It's a flare leg, flare wide, still pipe. It's, it's all three of those kind of. And it's really high waisted. And those big chunky pockets on the back are very 90s esque. Yeah. So I think we're going to be okay with those. Okay. Uh, I got this too because it was really cheap. Men's diesel. This stuff still. Yeah, it's still goes. moving. <laughs> and this is like very like affliction adjacent. This know? was the OG affliction. I think diesel's I think been around right. way longer. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. More stealth men's Lululemon. This one was a hard one. This is really hard. I one. had to go back and look at it three times. I'm like, it feels like Lulu, but I have no confirmation. Oh. It's so you can. Uh, it's so ghosty. In this store, I could not see it at all. It's super ghosty. 
I'm going to tell you how I knew on the zipper, on the underside of the <laughs> zipper. Normally it has the logo. It did not. Yeah. On the zipper pull on the side of it, it says Lululemon. But it, it says like the word, tiny. the yeah. whole word Lululemon. And I was just like, oh, it took me. I knew it was Lulu, <laughs> but I couldn't confirm it. I went back three times. Three times. Finally, I was like, I got it. Yes. Nice, nice get. Nice get. All right. This is from a brand that we've picked up in at estate sales and sold a couple of pieces this is from planet oh it has pockets this is a one size fits all like a lag and look mm -hmm. brand i like this brand i do too tell me you tell me you weren't going to look up this tag yeah, right tacked sure. tacked in the corners so yeah anything that's like one size fits all i'm going to take a second look at so. i don't like that sizing but no. It is true that a lot of those art to wear brands are a one size yeah. fits all. That's what they call it. Yeah. Clearly, I would not. <laughs> I would love to see you try to wear this. <laughs> I, I'm basically wearing it right now. Comment down below if you want to see Amy in the planet thing. <laughs> it would be down to my ankles. Okay, this is uh, new with tags. Jay McLaughlin. Extra yeah. small. This is yeah. the Arlette sweater. And I looked this sweater up by name because I could. Yeah. And these sell for 70 bucks brand new on Great. eBay. Red is great. Rib knit is great. Turtleneck is great. New tags is great. Jay McLaughlin is great. All those is great. Let me show you guys the brand. All there of that, go. I would have picked it up too, for sure. Uh, yeah, if you don't know this brand, it's pretty good. I find it at pretty much every rich lady estate sale I go to. <laughs> she goes travelers. So loud, I had to get it. This one is loud. I would have got this one too. Right? It's not. Most traveler stuff is like beige or black yeah. or silver not this, this one this is slinky had to get it love <laughs> had to get this too oh wow i would have got that parsley and sage oh perf nice love right? check that out it's like a two-layer yeah. situation love this brand you kind of fall into the brands you'll end up loving different ones than us yeah you fall into it this I know this coat. This is a Mark Jacobs jacket, and this has been sitting at the thrift store for weeks. I was holding out. Weeks. They start. This thing started at like sixty nine ninety nine, yeah. and it was marked all the way down to what nine ninety nine. And then we got half. And then up. we got it a half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a polka dot. It's a Y two K coat for sure, but it's in really great condition. It's still, you know, it has the belt dots. to make the big bow in the front with the brass hardware, yeah. brass colored hardware, I guess. I like it. I do too. And it's just Mark Jacobs, not Mark by. Yeah, Jacobs. it's a really high end jacket. It's a size eight. Uh, I think that should do okay. The Mark For Jacobs, sure. that's that jacket may have been a thousand dollars. Like it's what? yes. Because Mark by Mark Jacobs. I can't even afford Mark by Mark Jacobs. How am I gonna <laughs> All right, you were like, you have to get these. Yeah. These are wide leg J. Crew knit pants. Knit pants, knit match. I was looking for the top. But knit matching tops and sets yeah. they're just so good the wide leg i have these pants from the gap and i bought them retail like who am i what you bought something retail well okay so i had rakuten then i Rakuten. had then i had the you know black friday sale and yeah. then i had an extra coupon on top of that and then i had gap cash so i didn't really so basically free it was free got it okay <laughs> but i did get it from a website and i did have to pay shipping <laughs> Uh, I found this. I know we've sold this exact shell. This is Eileen Fisher. Yeah, I love that. Cute. Yes, I saw it hiding amongst the other things and grabbed it. I also grabbed this. I did not grab this. I'm glad you did. I did. I looked it up. I was like, mm. so this is Trunk Limited. Um, it says it's original handmade reissue in the USA. It's got all this text on the inside and i looked it up and i found this shirt and they do okay okay so good good nice job <laughs> he just congratulated himself <laughs> these are athleta pants look at these awesome okay this is the athleta i pick up i do not pick up all athleta anymore i left so much of it there yes it's this material how do we describe this material to you uh, i don't it is like it doesn't feel like anything you've ever felt. It does not feel like leggings. It doesn't feel like a knit. It's almost like a dry fit. Sort of, kind of. Polo shirt, kind of. But much thicker. It's, it's thick. Like a, like a ponty. 
athletic something. I don't have we are no not idea. doing a good job. Okay, but listen, you're going to feel it one time <laughs> at the thrift. You're like, that's what she was talking about. It feels different. And look, it has the, we've sold these exact pants. These yeah, are plus pieces, size. Yeah, one X. Okay, it has these huge slits here. Hold up, real high. So this is what your leg is looking like. This is awesome. And it has these huge slits. This is so on trend right now. These pants will sell. I think they sold for a hundred in like 24 hours for us before. So that's the athleta you need. Don't write off a whole brand just because the leggings aren't selling well anymore, right? Yeah, don't do that. That athleta stuff is doing really well. I wish I could. Anyway, go to the athleta store. Feel it. Yeah. Uh, CNC California. This sweater. is just darling. I this has got to be a little kid's. This can't be an adult. This is an adult. This is medium. Yeah. Cute, right? It looks like a kid's. Hold that up to me. This is a kid's. No? No, man. This is how we do in our house to figure out. No, some... definitely not. And then to figure out if it's men's <laughs> or women's, I try not. He tries to. <laughs> True. Uh, frame denim. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping that's not puckering in the back. I don't think it is. Do these have a style name? They Hello? didn't. Or no, they're straight. Mm. I don't know. Whatever. Frame is hit or miss right now. So these were only 250 Nice. And I think this style we've sold before. So I was like, hmm. Can't hurt, right? We can try this. All right. A couple pieces to go. This is Sundance. Like a lace. lace. Oh, yeah. It's crochet. Crochet. But, but it's weird. It's velvet. What is that? Velvet? I don't know how you crochet velvet. I don't know it's either. weird. It's like, no, it's like, okay, y'all. This is like laser cut and then the it's connected with crochet. Does that make sense what I'm saying? It's so weird. The velvet isn't crochet. You want to see it? There you go. You can kind of see it. <laughs> There's the brand Sundance. This is uh, Robert Redford's catalog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Why does right. he have a women's clothing catalog? Right? Who knows? All right. Last up, Bonobos Extra Fine Merino Wool V-neck Sweater. This I like that. This nice. thing's nice. This is going to do just fine. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Is that everything? We didn't get any shoes or anything, did we? No, I don't think time. so. Not this time. I got myself a lot of stuff. Did you get yourself anything? Two, three, maybe, to try, yeah. We try them on, and then mostly they come back out here for, yep, to go back up. Yep. Because they don't fit. They don't fit. But we, we were getting better about that. <laughs> like, just getting stuff to try it on quickly, including in our cost of goods and putting it out here. We keep one out of, like, every 10 things we bring home. For, yeah, probably. Yeah. Not even. Maybe, like, one out, out of 20. Like, that's how many things don't fit us. Or like just fits weird or is like, I don't, this is not me. I thought this was going to look good on me. But right. Exactly. No. But this one is like <laughs> the only job perk, right? So let's do it. Yeah, let's so do it. We just buy ourselves clothes all the time and then we sell them. It's great. It's wonderful. Have fun. Have fun. Do it for yourself. Check it out. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.